Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Appleton. Now Appleton is a pretty cool Pokemon, at least I like the look of it. I haven't actually used it in battle yet, but I've come up with a few sets for it. We've got two, two generic sets, we've got the Gigantamax set, which can also be run as a uh, Dynamax set if you wish. Um, the Gigantamax form doesn't change the premise of that. And we've also got one final, more gimmicky set, which I think is really interesting and something that I'm interested in uh, running myself. Now, the first set we have is a Curse set. So if you didn't know, um, Curse essentially allows you to raise up your attack and defense and lower your speed. Um, this could work really well in a Trick Room team because Appleton's speed is already so low, but it can also work to build up yourself up to be a really offensive um, tank. So obviously, defensive, especially defensive-wise, it's going to be a bit of an issue, but um, you've got options there as well, and I'll talk you through them. We've got leftovers on here to allow us to heal up. We've got Fit Fat as the ability, and that is really, really good because it halves the um, extent of ice type moves. Now, you're normally weak, four times weak to ice type attacks. If you can take away that four times weakness and reduce it to two times weakness, you have just taken off a humongous issue with running Appleton. So, if you can get hold of a Fit Fat Appleton, that will do you a lot of good. After Curse, we've got the Earthquake, which is a strong, powerful ground-type attack. It's things like Fire-types. Uh, we've got Seed Bomb, which is a strong, stab, grass-type attack, and hits a variety of Pokemon. And then we've got Sucker Punch, which is a powerful um, priority dark-type move, which allows you to take priority in some instances because, obviously, your speed is very low. If the opposing Pokemon is actually attacking you, it can um, be beneficial there as well. EVs, we've got max HP and max attack with an adamant nature, some more attack, less special attack, and four EVs and special defense. If you want to run this as more of a long-term set where you're going to set up multiple curses, I'd recommend going for max special defense. Excuse me. Um, I'd go for max special defense with a careful nature, so more special defense and less special attack, um, if you're wanting to raise up that attack and defense that even more, just to make yourself into a tank um, and allow you to live a lot more hits. The second set we have on here is a, um, it's a Wikiberry set. This is kind of more of a um, set that you're going to end up kind of recovering yourself a variety of times. Move what, or we've got Gluttony is the ability, basically meaning that the Wikiberry is going to be eaten at 50% health, which is a really good um, thing, rather than having it eaten at a quarter health. We've got Apple Acid, which is a strong grass type attack. Um, base 80 on its power, but it does lower the special defense of the opposing Pokemon. If you can do that once or twice, you're going to see a lot more damage and you're possibly gonna force a switch as well. So that's definitely an option. You've got Recover for reliable recovery here. So if you wanted to go for a Patea Berry in, with your Gluttony, or even with, I think you get Ripen on this as well. Um, yep, yeah, or with Ripen. So uh, if you want to do the Patea Berry on there, you could definitely do that if you wish. Uh, Gluttony, you eat berries at 50% rather than quarter percent, and um, Ripen doubles the effect. So essentially, um, if you use the Patea Berry, it normally raises your special attack by one, but if you used it with Ripen, it raises it by two. So that can be really beneficial. Dragon Pulse is a powerful dragon type attack, obviously boosted by stab, and then we've got Giga Drain, which is a powerful grass type attack, allowing you again to have more of a recovery option than just recover, especially if um, you get hit with heal block or taunt, for example. Um, you then still have some form of recovery there. Eevee's gone for max HP and max special attack with a modest nature, so more special attack and less attack. You could always go for a more defensive version of this, so defensive or specially defensive, uh, but it's up to you depending on what you are looking for in a Pokemon. Now, the Gigantamax, um, Appleton, as well as the Dynamax, you can run either way with this. Um, Appleton actually gets a really good Gigantamax move. Now, when paired up with its grass type attack, Gigant and Gigantamax, um, Appleton turns into G Max. I can't actually think of what it's called, but it actually heals um, all the status conditions of the Pokemon in your team. So it essentially works as a heal bell, which is really, really good because you've got an attack off and it can heal your Pokemon. So it's really a lot more beneficial for the late game, especially with teams that have a lot of Willow Whispers or Toxicas. 
um, that can really support you. Wiki Berry on here again, allowing you to heal up. We've got Gluttony, so at 50%, you'll heal yourself up. Um, the whole idea on here is that you would only use uh, your G Max move once at the maximum because obviously the status conditions will be gone after that. Um, and then you would use Superpower as Max Knuckle, essentially raising up your attack power. If you can use that twice, it will double your attack power to around 600, which is a lot higher. Then you've got Earthquake um, and Heavy Slam and Seed Bomb as options there, even Superpower as options to hit a variety of different Pokemon. The Heavy Slam is there to hit things like Ice types because you haven't got the Thick Fat on this one. If you want to go for Thick Fat and Leftovers, that is an option for you as well. Um, obviously, if you go for the Dynamax form, you're not going to get the Heal Bell aspect. You'll just get uh, Max Overgrowth, uh, which will set up the Grassy Terrain for you. So um, obviously, you can run either way that you want to go. Eevee's gone for max HP and max attack with a animate nature some more attack with special attack and four EVs and special defense. Now here is the more gimmicky set. We have uh, a recycled potato berry set with gluttony. So as I said, potato berry would be eaten at 25% rather than 50% but with gluttony we've got the 50% and we've got recycle as our move here. Now essentially this means that you can bring back the berry as many times as you want. So you can potentially get to your plus six just by using recycle um, to recycle the potato berry. You've also got recover on here to allow you to heal up because obviously you're gonna have to go less than 50% health multiple times. So having recover there to allow you to heal can definitely help. You've got Giga Drain, which is a powerful grass type attack. Um, and as I said, it'll heal you up. And then Leech Seed as well to allow you to be healing and possibly force some switches as well. So it is the potential to get to plus six on here and have an absolutely huge special attack stat um, and do a lot to a lot of different Pokemon. Eevee's gone for max HP and max special defense with a calm nature to more special defense less attack. You could go um, max special attack with modest if you want to. It's up to you what you decide to go for. That is all for Appleton. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here. So have a good one, and I'll see you soon.